Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to hop on here and share with you my lucky charm <laughs> for 2024. Oh my god, I cannot believe it's 2024. Well, almost. Anyways, every year for the past three years, I have decided to make a lucky charm. Kind of how people pick like a, a word that they carry with them all year um, to like inspire them all year. I decided back in 2020, going into 2021, that I wanted to start doing that with just little charms that I can hang usually in my kitchen to every time I see it, it just reminds me of like my goals that year and stuff. So in 2020 going into 2021, I made um, a shamrock. <laughs> and if I can find the patterns for the things that I made in the past, I will put them in. I'll also insert photos. And then in 2021 going into 2022, I made a ladybug, which I didn't use pattern. It's my own thing. And then in 2022 going into 2023, <laughs> I made a little red envelope, which I'll also insert a photo. It's actually in my kitchen. I could have grabbed it, but I didn't. <laughs> so now, 2023 going into 2024, I decided, it took me a while, I looked, I did some Googling. <laughs> I wanted to try to find just a cute symbol for us and our goals and things like that. And, uh, did, you know, I found one thing that I wanted to use, and then I ended up making multiple patterns. So over the next few days, I'm going to share different ones with you and um, talk about things that I plan on doing next year that involves these. So my 2024 Lucky Charm is going to be the acorn <laughs> so it's very simple very little but some of the things that acorns stand for I have it right now <laughs> is strength good fortune prosperity potential and youthfulness so that's all things that we could all use <laughs> and the acorn is great for um like a reminder because it reminds you that something so little and tiny grows into the mighty oak tree you know and it can that just shows the potential of something little that you do can blossom into something big later and that's kind of what I want to focus on in 2024 is put you know a lot of little things add up to be something big later <laughs> if that makes sense but so for my first acorn pattern project <laughs> i chose uh and all the patterns i did pick are free and i'll show them each day i talk about them they'll be in the description but this one is called the upcycled acorn by highland hickory designs and i'll have it linked below and it's upcycled because you use the plastic ring from a water bottle um a 16 ounce water bottle water bottle <laughs> to uh crochet around so you do crochet around it and then you do this part and i just thought it was cute i think i might put a little hanger on there and hang it somewhere <laughs> but uh, i did actually make i believe four different acorn patterns to share with you over the next few days um what is today today is tuesday so tuesday thursday friday and saturday i believe there will be acorn videos wednesday will be whip wednesday and then the last day of the year will be like my goals video <laughs> hopefully if i can get them all recorded but this is my first little acorn i use scrap bits of yarn this is red heart um chocolate <laughs> or coffee i can't remember and this is i have no idea what this is it's just a little scrap brownie color <laughs> yarn that i had and it does just have that little um plastic ring in there and I, I, I think I used a G hook, which is four millimeter hook. My heat just kicked on. <laughs> um, I just think it's so cute. And I love the symbol, symbol, symbolization <laughs> of acorns. And um, I just like those, you know, strength. Everybody could use strength. Good fortune. Everybody would, could use good fortune. <laughs> Prosperity. Potential, which I love the potential. Because uh, especially something I want to teach my children is, you know, just doing little things can add up to big things later, you know. And youthfulness. Of course I want youthfulness. I'm getting older. I'm still young, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm in the middle <laughs> somewhere. I'm 33. I'm going on 34. So I know I'm still young. I still got young kids, so they keep me pretty young. But as I age, I hope that I can always keep my youthfulness. I would love to be one of those like 80 year old women who still just jokes around and has fun, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a firm believer that you're only as old as you feel. And I feel like from my experience with older people, the ones that I know personally, when they start acting old is when they become old and it's when they become sick and stuff. So I hope to be youthful forever. <laughs> but this is my first little pattern, so I will link that down below. It is so cute. <laughs> and I already got some more. They're in the living room. They're just waiting. And they're pretty cute. I actually, there was another one I did try, but I could, I could not get it to come out right. And I'm pretty sure it was the yarn I was using. They were both supposed to be worsted weight, but one of them was super thicker. And then I used two different color... It was the dark, the top of the acorn that was the thicker yarn. And then every color that I tried two times making the bottom of the acorn, it came out so much smaller. So I gave up and picked a new pattern. <laughs> 
but um so i will hop on here in the next few days and share my acorns with you and we'll talk about acorns <laughs> and um i hope that you can take some inspiration from this and either pick out a word to carry along with you in 2024 so we're saying that or a, a symbol i like having these because i'm a visual person so i like having them you know hanging i made four and three of them well really all four of them are things I could have around the house in different places so that when I see it I can rem remember why I made them so uh, if you want to come along you can you can use the acorn too or you can go back and find your own lucky charm or if you have something that's special to you that maybe doesn't stand for look at all but <laughs> it's just a personal thing you can make it and have it around too I know like a big one is cardinals a lot of people love cardinals and feel, find symbolism in them that's that word I was looking for earlier <laughs> um, you could make a cardinal and put it around. There's so many cute cardinal patterns. I'm, I recently made two. <laughs> but anyways, that's just an idea. So here's my little acorn. I know it's kind of hard to see because of my the darkness. But there it is. I put it on my forehead. <laughs> but I think it's cute. And this whipped up, I don't know, 15 minutes. Less than that probably. And um, these little, you can get these off of soda bottles too. You could probably use one of a milk jug. Although it might be a smidge bigger. But I think it might still work out. You can just try it <laughs> and see. But it's a good way to use up a little piece of plastic. And it makes it a little durable, you know. Be a cute keychain or like something you put on a backpack or a purse. Or just hang it in your kitchen like I plan on doing. <laughs> but yeah, so I will leave this linked below. And I will see you today's Tuesday. So I'll see you Thursday for another acorn. And I'll hopefully see you tomorrow for a whip Wednesday. <laughs> but I sometimes slack on those and don't do them. <laughs> but hopefully I will see you then. So I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to